Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel in this fun fall DIY. I am going to be making napkin rings for my dining room using Dollar Tree products. Everything in this DIY comes from the Dollar Tree. Okay, from the glue sticks <laughs> to the leather leaves. These are the leather-like leaves. I've got two different shapes the shower curtain rings these are from previous I'm going to be creating six of these to the faux leather pumpkins and I have a few others here too that these are the sweater pumpkin clips now these are the clips all of these are clips but I'm going to be pulling them off the clips do you see that and then there's even these here I was debating. I wasn't sure which one. And just in the last few minutes, I've decided to go with those. I think they they make them look more high end, if you know that makes any sense. Now, these DIYs are so simple that it's almost embarrassing to take any credit for them. I'm going to start by, we're going to, actually, let's make sure this is locked there. This place here, which is not pretty, that's where we always put our little thing that we're turning into a napkin ring. And admittedly, that's a little big for a napkin ring, but who cares? You know, um, usually they, they might be slightly smaller, but that's about what you would need. So I'm going to do three of these dark. I think that that looks very nice together, those colors. And it'll go with my pumpkin plates from last year. So let's just remove these okay. and again I said we're going to be taking the clips off you can do that carefully and they come out very easy I don't know what you would do with those afterwards but there's minimal damage if you're not careful they can wind up like ripping the um, the fabric but that's going to be glued down anyway very quick and easy i i took off one of each of these and put them in my tear tray and i'll be doing a little um decoration house decor um walk through and i these were a little bit tougher to get out because it's fabric but not too much tougher i you know let me get all these things taken care of before i actually start I always like having a formal, formally decorated, well, as formal as I can get it because I'm not rich. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I like to have the dining room look really nice and ready for company. To me, there's just something about that, that that's super inviting to people. And Dollar Tree definitely provides us with a bunch of options. I'm going to adjust the view here a little bit, just a little bit. So I can, there we go. I think that's better. It's up a little bit high. All right, so let's get our rings. Okay. Keep these over here to the side. Okay, all right. Once again, make sure that your your rings are locked. I don't know how easily it'll be for these to fall off. Oops. You know what? Like the glue comes undone. And I hope my glue gun doesn't give me an issue today. But I decorated for fall last weekend. That was another busy weekend. I just seemed to always be busy. And that might be an idea to... That might provide an extra bit of security. 
My nails look terrible. I need to get them done. That stem that I really don't want to cut off, I'm going to glue it down on the other side to provide just a teensy bit more security to make sure that stays in place. I'm going to do my best to do this as neatly as I can. I'm not the neatest crafter. <laughs> I'm hoping that stays secure. Not quite yet. But I think that is going to look, once it's secured on there, I think that's going to look very nice. Don't you think? I hope that works. Okay. I might need to for what I want to do. I might need to glue this down like that. I haven't thought this through. This is like on the spur. I have an idea and I'm trying to execute it. So you're going to see me mistakes and all. <laughs> okay. And by the way, I'm very open to suggestions because I realize that I may not have the best ideas. If you're super crafty, please comment below and let me know what could be done differently. I'm trying to avoid bulky wires because I've thought about... They do have the pumpkins that have the little wire that comes out of it. And I thought, ooh, maybe I could use one of those. And then I was like, no, I really don't think I want to do that. Although I may, if this doesn't work out, then I may do that. But we'll see. And this is easy to disassemble later on if you don't like the way it looks or if you want to try something different. The, the glue is easy that these things won't be damaged. So... There's one. Let me try a different leaf and see how that works. Oops. Make sure this is locked in. I wonder if it's better to put the glue directly onto the pumpkin so I can you can pull the glue strings off after. <laughs> These go pretty fast once you once you got them going. I didn't create a place for it. Let's try one of these. See which one I like better. I think 
these are turning out pretty well. I think I like that better than this one. I mean, I can always trim that if it looks too plasticky to me. But I think I like the way this one looks better than this one. But I'm not going to undo this one. I'll leave it just like that. I have red napkins I'm going to be putting through this. So I think these colors will contrast nicely with the red. Nice, huh? So far, so good. You'll see these when I do the tour of the house of, with showing the decor. These will be in place on my pumpkin plates. So that'll be nice. Let's try one of the maple leaves. Once again, I'm not the neatest of crafters, but I've got a certain look. Then again, it's not about perfection. It can't be for me because <laughs> I am not perfect. I just... I kind of like it with the stem down, you know? I guess they're both fine. I am going to cut that off because it looks like it's been pulled off a um, a thing of fake flowers. You know, see this one, I, this one I did kind of in the middle and this one I did more towards the bottom. Hmm. I can, once I trim that off, it will look a little bit more like the other one. I don't want it to drip or fall. Okay. these are going to be so nice just the right touch so maybe a little bit wonky but that's okay and my last one maple leaf or oak. It's like maple to me.
if I wanted to, I could come back over this. I don't have any felt right now that we could put a little strip of felt to cover up that. Do I have any? I don't believe so, but that would probably provide an extra measure of security for keeping that secured. And that's it. That was my sixth one. Let me get them all over here. For me, it doesn't matter I'm the orientation of the leaf because they don't fall in the same way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So here they are, my little, my six fall napkin rings, and I absolutely love them. What do you think? You think you're going to try something like this to beautify your dining room table for the fall? Comment, let me know what you think. Bye until next time.